Uh, welcome to this first screencast for Physics 2 about uh, damped oscillations, which are oscillations where the friction force is involved, and when the friction force is involved, then the oscillation is more real and it goes to a halt, it's stopping. So, this friction force, which I'm going to draw here, is a vector, and its general form it's a constant times the velocity. This constant is called uh, the viscous term. It's in Spanish. And there's a second term that goes as the another constant, the square of the velocity, of the square of the speed, and in the direction of the velocity. Both terms are negative because the friction opposes to the movement and this is called the pressure term. Now this term usually is important only when the velocity is big so that is why we will only use the first term in our derivation. So our friction force will be the constant which I will call V, V times the velocity and this V is the uh, damping coefficient. So this is the spring with a constant k, and here is the mass with a little face, the mass m. So I extend this mass by a length l, and I feel the, f the spring force, which is minus kx, is Hooke's law, and the friction force is just opposing the movement, which is minus b times the velocity, or x dot. So the second law of Newton is the sum of the forces equals m times x two dots, where this is uh, the second derivative of x with respect of time, which is also the acceleration. So now here in the left side we have first the spring force minus kx, and then the friction force minus b times the velocity, which with this notation, and that is equal to m times x two dots or m a. I will rewrite this a bit different, x2 dots plus b over m times x dot plus k over m times x equals to zero. I just uh, divided everything by m and this term here is often called gamma and this is our usual angular frequency for ideal oscillations and you remember that so and then our equation of motion goes like this in terms of gamma and the angular frequency for the ideal oscillation so this is a differential equation of second order and I will not solve it I will just write here the the solution, which is x as a function of time, equals this is something like the normal oscillator with the amplitude a, and now it has an exponential term which is uh, damping the oscillator, it's slowing it, and the oscillating term, which is a cosine, as you remember, of omega prime t plus the phase constant and this is primed because this angular frequency is different from the omega zero because the oscillator is slowing down so omega prime is not the same as omega zero in fact they are both related by this formula that i will write here omega prime the damped angular frequency is omega zero squared minus gamma squared over four and the square root of that. And now we have the first tools that we need to start solving problems, and that is why I will draw Kuko here saying adios or goodbye.